Hi everyone, we are very pleased to welcome you here at Sennheiser France showroom to show you a tutorial, a tutorial video with Yamaha France and I'm pleased to host here today Mr. Jonathan Tula from Yamaha France. I'm a product specialist for the commercial audio division. Very happy to be here. My name is Axel Brizer. I'm also application engineer for Sennheiser France. And what we're going to do is to interconnect D6000 and QL1 console today. First of all, you have to check separately your devices, your D6000 on the side and your QL series uh, console on the other side. Let's jump on the some other side first. Here, what you have to check first is the software version, the firmware version. So you have to go into the system uh, menu. On the second page, you can see on the info menu here, the 2.19.115 version, which is the proper one. Then you um, go into the work lock menu, you select external Dante. You go into the IP mode of the Ethernet port, and this has to be configured into auto, not MDNS, please not manual please, auto, and that will work very simply. Here we're gonna call it number one, and so I do on this menu, which is the new one, appears with this firmware version dedicated to the interconnection with y Yamaha Word, so we call it Y001, and here you can see on the Dante menu device ID that the name you gave is the first letter of the Dante name of your device. This is really important, don't change it. Don't, don't change it on the Dante controller, otherwise it will not work with the Yamaha console. Here, again, on the Dante network menu, we choose IP mode auto for very convenient, simple reason, and make it working very simple. The second step is to check your wiring and your connection. So we go on the rear and here you can see that the devices we are using today and showing today are D6000 version number one with only the primary port. Pay attention to the fact that all devices, all the Dante D6000 today has a primary on the secondary port. That said, what you have to do is to connect the Dante port to your router and also on the same router without any VLAN, the Ethernet port. And so the data, the remote control on the Dante will merge on the third one, which is connected to the console. So now we're going to configure the console yes. and Jonathan will explain that. Okay, very simple here. You just have to go in the setup menu here. Just please check the, um, the Yamaha firmware version, version 5 and, uh, and higher, and pay attention to the uh, Dante firmware version. This is the last one. If it's okay, you just have to go in the network menu here and stay in auto IP mode for the next Axel, next step. So once done, you have to connect your wire into the Dante port. Once done, you go into IO devices menu and on the Dante setup. On the Dante setup, there is three tab. Please go on the device mode tab and you select the slot, you go on the online device list and here, because you've connected, you can see your three devices ready to be mounted. You select the first one on the first slot, the second one on the second slot and guess what? The third one on the third slot. Please wait a few seconds while the interconnection operates, 
you've got this pop-up menu shows off that devices are ready to interoperate. What you can do now is go on the wireless and check that your devices are ready to interoperate. And why doing that? You can, for instance, change the name of your device, call it Uh, DOM, <laughs> for instance, and you can see that you rename your channel DOM, which I, I don't know where is it coming from, DOM. Don't mind. Here yeah, now you're ready to make a DOM to patch because you have to connect everything together. So you go into the DOM to patch down to input patch and there is a very clever simple menu functionality called auto setup. If you do auto setup it takes everyone coming from down, put it on a down and put it on your console. On the QL1 series what happened is that the Dante 16 first channel arrives on the second layer 17 until 32. So we do have here on our QL, on the channel number 17, our first D6000 device. If I press it here, down on the screen, I can see all the devices. And so, if I switch on my transmitter, you can see here, it's on, it's received on the D6K and here I can see the RF level, the battery level and the quality, level quality indicator level which is the, the, the level of the digital signal recomposed by the D6K. This is very fancy, this is very useful and in case of any trouble, RF trouble or battery trouble, you will have a big yellow screen in below the screen of your Yamaha console saying you do have lower low battery on your channel number XYZ. Here you're ready to interoperate and to go on stage and do your job. I think we are down. Yes, we are. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who watches this video, and please thumb up. Goodbye.